Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, and welcome to Warfare Wednesday. That's where we talk about our military and military strategic planning. So, with that in mind, what is the plan for this episode? Well, first plan is to turn my timber thing off. And to bring up our supply. So our supply, obviously, in our military, is perfectly good. What do we do with supply? Well, we are kind of in a situation where we can't expand north. Expanding north right now is not an option. We can't go to war with Russia. Um, we'd have to go to war, obviously, with this entire group, the, the, everybody. And we'd end up overextended, 100% guaranteed. Now, one of the things we can do, though, is expand south, or southeast, or just east. Um, obviously, right now, we have no military actual plans, but we can come up with some strategic theories. But what we're what we're gonna do? I'll take a sip of my coffee here. And no, that doesn't mean we're gonna invade Java down here. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm looking at is making several different military plans to take on several different countries. So we have India, the two little we have Nepal and Bhutan, Bangladesh and uh, Pakistan are kind of one and the same. Vietnam, Taiwan, Korea, Japan, the Philippines. Um, Indonesia, um, Malaysia, and obviously, you know, the English, uh, the puppets down here. Now, the Americans don't control Midway? Oh, they do. They just don't have any supply there. Okay. So, what are we going to do? How are we going to do this? So, originally, I decided, let's make a plan to invade Taiwan. Now, Taiwan, if we zoom in here, has multiple different locations where we can invade from if we didn't have any amphibious units uh, or amphibious assault craft, which we do. Unfortunately, that would kind of tie us up, right? We would kind of be stuck. If I bring up my uh, my thing here. We'd be kind of stuck to invade through here, 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 and up here. It's definitely one of those things, right? Because, I mean, they have air bases in multiple different locations, which, I mean, that is, that's a good thing, right? They've got a military uh, air force base here. They've got another one up here. Uh, another one here. And just one more down here. So if we were to do airstrikes, we would have to hit those pretty fast. Like, almost almost immediately, we'd have to take out those four air bases if we wanted to get air superiority. Now, that's one thing I definitely would, would prefer to do would be to come in and just hit all four of those and, and take them all out. Then what we would do at that point is to create ourselves some... No, basically create ourselves some... Uh, let me get out of this little thing here. Oh, shit. I close out that damn program and it... Yeah, whatever, you're a piece of shit program. So, the plan would be, obviously... Since we have amphibious units, would not be to invade straight away into these main main locations, especially this one because it is a military base, and then it can pull in with additional troops here. What I was thinking was invading right in through here. There's no specific locations that we can take as supply, but if we invaded it here, in conjunction with an invasion up here, so we land troops in this city here or even right here, and push in through here. They can only bring up troops that they have in reserve through here. And then the troops that we have in these locations can actually push in and capture these strategic locations. Then we can push on the port. Then we can bring in our heavy equipment. So our tanks, our artillery, our anti-aircraft, um, guns pretty much we shouldn't need if the plane goes off right. And, and that will be it. Now, mind you, this game obviously doesn't play too strategic thinking, it's pretty much, you know, spam units and, and attack, but who says we can't have a little fun while planning, right? So, one of the ideas I'll have is to do an amphibious assault here and another one here. Now, what we could also do, too, is land troops down in this peninsula. That way, they only have one way to attack us, which is straight down. Now, we'll be low on supply, so we'll have to make a push on this base. And so, what we could also do is maybe land troops up here, maybe? But, yet again, it's a military base. With naval production. So they're also going to have possible naval ships up there. Which is a big worry as well. So, Thailand becomes this one idea where... 
we're going to have to get two different types of superiority. We're going to have to wipe out their navy right off the hop. We're going to have to wipe it all out. And then secondly, we're going to have to wipe out their air force. So what I'm proposing in plan number one is for us to use our five air force bases here. One Later on when we have AWAC technology, we'll have one AWAC going north-south, or northeast-southwest. Have another one going northwest-southeast. Another one have here going east-west. That should cover the entire island with, uh, with, with, with radar. We'll be able to see where their units are deployed and where the best invasion would be. Then what we'll do with our aircraft, because we'll have the AWACs out, we'll know where their navy is. And immediately we'll pull out our aircraft. No aircraft will go into their area, into their airspace. We'll just have tons of interceptors, or sorry, multi-role fighters and bombers coming out into the ocean and just completely suppressing their navy for the first little bit. Then we'll use our, our high-speed bombers to fly in and hit these air bases constantly. Just constant bombardment of these air bases. Just, just, just a constant flow of, of bombing. Um, we... Should I think we do have missile technology at this point? No, no missiles as of yet. So later on when we do a missile technology, bomb technology, the plan will be to hit these air bases as hard as we can. Fire as many missiles as we can, hit these air bases, knock out the air bases. Once those air bases are knocked out, we're good to go. Or, or, just at least suppress their air force enough that the air bases are useless. So the other idea would be instead of using bombers, just, just completely go over with fighters. Use the bombers to take out any locations where there are um, specifically like uh, air anti-aircraft defense, and and do that. So let's play one. Use our air force to completely wipe out their air force and their navy, and then invade. Secondary plan. So plan number two. Using fighter, or using uh, tactical bombers, and and, uh, and and strategic bombers, come in real quick. Hit just hit just these locations. So here, 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 and here. Hit them as hard as we can right off the bat, with as much firepower as we can, and then at the same time drop in paratroopers into these four locations as well. Now they may not all end up in there. They may end up spread out in the area around, but That'll give us the ability to push in. Now, one of the ideas I have is these two locations here. Preferably this one. The idea with this one would be to use aircraft, fly around, and then right was the aircraft get about here with a naval inv uh, with a naval invasion as well. The plan would be to call in, basically declare war. Just as we declare war, a bunch of our fighter aircraft and interceptor aircraft come flying over the west. Most of their air force will go this way. These guys will sneak in, drop paratroopers here or here, or even in these two locations. And then our marines will come in and land either above or just above, south or below, and take this port. Once we have a port, any of these four ports, we're laughing. Because the Taiwanese would not be able to stop us once we have a toehold. Because we'll just be able to funnel troops like crazy. So, that's that idea. That's, that's plan number two. An air backslash naval invasion. South side, of, uh, south side of the island with a feint of an air force strike on the west. Plan number three. Nuke the fucking island. We'll have we have nuclear weapons at this point. Uh, we could if we wanted to. Build them. Oh, actually, no, we have... Well, we have actually a lot of missiles. Why aren't we... Because you're not known for quality. I want you to do... That. So the plan would be... Nuke the island. But obviously that's not the greatest idea. So plan number three... Is basically a... Long-range bombardment. Uh, that's where we don't even enter their territory. We basically position missile units all along the coast here. And it's all we do. It's just lob missiles across. The AWACS will be in the air. They'll be protected with uh, with our fighter cover, with our fighter aircraft. And that's all we're going to do is just constantly be firing missiles. Hitting facilities, hitting buildings, hitting targets, and just wearing them down. And the plan will be, theoretically, because we're running shit on, on uh, population, will be to wipe out 
every single bit of production on this island. That would also put them into a really bad financial situation where all their facilities are damaged and all their facilities are, are going down. Now that would be the long term that would that would be a long term, you know, fight obviously. Because we'd be firing off a lot of fucking missiles. So that would be the first idea. With a long term bombardment. Second one would be aircraft, using the aircraft for bombardment. Um, using tons of tactical bombers and strategic bombers and it's coming in and it's wiping out the island. Slowly but steadily, and leaving, you know, the cities, you know, like these two cities, these, because they don't have many cities that are vacant. You know, they've got, like, most of these cities have something associated with them. So we'd have to come in and just wipe out the majority of this stuff. Which, to me, not that bad. It's only Taiwan, so it's no big deal. So that's, that's plan three. Long, long, long-range bombardment. So the bombers will come in, they'll probably make a, I'll probably have, like, they'll probably have, like, a, a certain like distance they have to get first and then they'll pop the missiles off and turn around and go back and reload and, and go again. That's all we're going to do. Is just bring the bombers, drop a bunch of missiles, go back, do the same thing over and over and over again until either they capitulate or there's nothing left on the island except for the towns. And then that's where we use our amphibious infantry, you know, our marines and land, you know, on the coast here and, you know, on the coast there or even on here and there you go. So that's plan three. Plan number four for Warfare Wednesday is we... This one's a little hard to explain, but basically the plan would be to drop a... It used to be a full-scale aerial invasion. No naval forces, all aircraft. So all we're going to be doing is flying our fighters and our bombers over the island constantly until all air... until all air support is, is diminished. So in other words, they have no anti-aircraft left and their air force is down to the point where it's it's almost useless. Then what the plan will be to do is to drop airborne units all over the interior middle part of this island. Just all over the middle of it. Tons of them. Tons of airborne infantry, um, you know, mechanized infantry, you name it. If it can be put in an airplane, it's being put in an airplane, and then it's going to be dropped on Taiwan. And the plan will be to, you know, do that as best we can. That's plan four full-scale amphibious in, or air force invasion, or aerial invasion, and aerial superiority. So there you go. Plan four. So that would be for Taiwan. Um, like I said, the main things we got to worry about with this island is the fact that it's that. It's an island, right? So we got to worry about their navy and their air force. They don't... I don't know what arrangements they have. Let's take a look here. They have a peace arrangement and a treaty with us right now. They have no allies, no colonies, and that's it. So right now they're not even friends with the Americans. It's 1964. So we might want to look at maybe, maybe, doing this maybe before the 70s are up. Take a little sip of my coffee there. That's that's one of the ideas. Let's try this by the 70s. Kind of, you know, at that point, give some damage, do some, you know, do some, do some work. Which means we'd have to up our military game once we decide what, what action we're going to take. So if we decide we're going all Air Force, we will need to up our military production. So right now we're building a lot of Queen Bees um, and no bombers. Because uh, we don't have any strategic or multi-role, no tactical or strategic bombers right now. It's 1964. Can we buy some off of no, we want to buy them off the Americans. The Americans are really good with those things. B fifty two D Strato Fortress. And an F one on Thigh Thunder Chief. I want to get Delta Dart maybe. The Delta Dart's a good aircraft, but I don't know. F eighty six Saber. How much is that gonna cost me? Two point six billion. Done. There we go. Okay. So, first things first. We stop the production of all these Queen Bees. Now, when we go to war, the Queen Bee will be the number one aircraft we use. Mainly because that's the way we can just get rid of them all. So, first things first. Strata Fortresses. We're going to build... A, well, actually, we're going to go... Interceptor first. Oh, we got Sabres and Delta Darts. Shit. 
I didn't realize I bought both of them. Um, so we got 45 slots for aircraft. What we're going to do is we're going to build 20 of you, 15 of you, and then just 5 of you. And right now our transport aircraft, I mean the CMT cartridge, it's a good little aircraft, but I'm not mistaken, we don't have any... Uh, wait, falls right, country of origin, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cargo capacity, 31 tons is how much it can take. But our infantry, if you look, is 432 tons. Our elite guard is 38 tons. So... Right now, it can't carry anything we have. Wonder if the Americans have a good cargo container we can we can use. Ooh, the Strato tanker. Uh, do, 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 do. doesn't say how much it can carry. Well, wait, no. 484. What is 484? 44 So if I hover over you No. Yeah, it says right there 31. There's a little pic of picture like right around here of a vehicle. It says 31. And I think 31 yeah, is the tar is the cargo capacity. So, unless, unless the Russians have one, this straddle tanker can take how much? Four eighty four is probably the most. Those are all prop. So unless the Russians have one that can carry more than four hundred eighty four, we're going with the American. Yeah, definitely going with the four with the straddle tanker. I'll give you the Queen Bee. There. Didn't even look at how much it costs. I really don't care at this point. Come on. Buy it. Come on, let us buy it. Come on, let us buy it. Come on, let us buy it. Uh, yeah, why not? Good for me. Good for me, good for you. Um, seven, eight, and ten. So we're gonna build five, one, two, three, four, five. Now, one of the things we want to do, because now we're gonna be modernizing our air force, is to get rid of some of this shit we already have. Um, Malaysia is a country that I really want to prop up right now, um, since it is War Wednesday. One of the things we want to do is also see what we can do military-wise in regards to spending. And one of the things we want to do is we want to sell some troops out. Sell some units. we we got to really get rid of some of this old shit. So, Malaysia. We've got tons of interceptors we want to get rid of that are old. So most of these Tomahawk and Buffaloes we're going to sell them to. Sell it to them. We're going to see how much they're willing to buy here. Really? Ah, fuck it. We'll just give it to him. Vietnam's at war with someone. Who are you at war with? Tunisia, again. Come on. Yep, yep, they agreed with this. So, and most of them, and they all crashed on the way. Perfect. That is the best thing ever. Hey. Buy some of our aircraft. They're insured.
They have no money. That's why they can't... Uh, they're broke. Oh. So, Malaysia just got independence and they're broke as fuck. Here, take all that. Um, take all these P30, P35s as well. So that we scrap them, so we might as well just give them away. Strategic bombers as well. Because we're replacing those with the strata fortresses. Keep our queen bees for the moment. Uh you know what? Let's give you some infantry as well while we're at it. Let's get let's get rid of some of this. Lots of old stuff. Take it. And most of those aircraft are probably going to crash on the way. Over time, they'll slowly work, move the, the ground units out of the country. Is there some up here? What the hell are their units up there? Oh, there too. Good to know. A lot of the bombers made it. No, they didn't. <laughs> oh, that's fucking priceless. It's like, hey, Malaysia, buy all this stuff from us. Yeah, they got a lot of the bombers in. Which isn't too bad. Um... Who do we want to prop up a little bit? You know what? We also want to prop up Pakistan. Because we want Pakistan and, and India to go to war. Can you give me money? You can give me money. Perfect. Because with our technology-wise, where we're sitting right now, we're, we're laughing. We're not too worried about stuff. So let's, uh, let's try to cause some problems. Basically, what will happen is... If one country's military is significantly larger than another one's and its neighbors, and they're not on good terms, they'll actually go to war. So. And we really don't need any of these old World War II-esque Russian-made American-designed vehicles anymore. Same with these mounted infantry units. We're going to give them about two... So they're offering us 70 million for all this right now. We'll give them enough that they give us 100 million. Because these are units that we don't need anymore. Especially since we're getting a lot of the, uh, the BMPs and... Whatever these are, the YWs. Because our armor is way advanced. It's 88 million. No. What if he gave me 113? No. 97? No. He gave me 94. I know, this is so much fun, isn't it? Uh, half track, Jesus. The foxholes? I don't know if we're going to give them the foxholes or not. kind of wish you could mass click. They kind of click. Like that one, then click all the way set, like, you know, shift click. Uh, 
And the reason why they don't need engineers is because a lot of these new tanks that were or mechs that were mechanized units were building, they're yeah, they're all amphibious. So we really don't need engineers at this point. We're going to give us 222. There. So 258 million. And they're slowly moving their troops down. And over time, those guys will filter themselves out of the country. So there you go. Not uh, not too bad. Trying to slowly get rid of these uh, these these units. I like it. But yeah, that's the episode. This is World War Wednesday. See you guys next time. Let's pause it. Anyways, see you guys next time. Bye bye.